Did you grow up a Dallas Cowboys fan? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm from the, around that area. Um, so my dad was a big Dallas Cowboys fan. So I got to watch a lot of games growing up. Um, but uh, I won't be a fan this week for sure. What stands out to you the most when, when you look at that Cowboys defense? Yeah, I mean, they play extremely hard. I think that's the, the main thing. They have playmakers over there, but they, they don't give up on any play. They're flying around trying to make plays happen. And um, whenever you have defenses that have playmakers and play, play hard every single play, that's a, that's a tough defense to go, go up against. Yeah, I think just taking what was there, especially early in the game, um, not trying to force it, um, letting the big plays kind of come to me. And I think we saw that when you're patient, you take what's there and you execute, uh, defense will, uh, will eventually come up and then you'll, you'll be able to hit some of those shots uh, later in the game. Patrick, you've talked about Dak before as a guy you watch video of and try to learn some things. Mm -hmm. what, what are your thoughts on his game and, and have you learned anything from the way he plays? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, first off, I mean, he's a tremendous leader. I think mean, that's I think that you can see that even when you're just watching uh, as a fan of of him and and, the, and of them. And so for him, to, he's a tremendous leader. He's been a starter in the league for a long time now. He's, he's athletic. You can see that by the way he played in college, and he can make a lot of big time throws. And so uh, they have a great offense over there. They have a great team over there. So uh, it'll be a great challenge for us to go up uh, going up against them this week. In the early film study for this game, how aware do you have to be of just Trevon Diggs and where he is at, at each play? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's, he's. I mean, when you make, have that many interceptions, that means you you know what's going on. You you have an understanding of what the offense is trying to do. Um, so you definitely have to have the eye, have an eye on him at all times because he's going to wait for his opportunity. And, he, and usually, when he gets his hand, hands on it, he's, he ends up making the catch. So uh, definitely a great player. Um, someone you have to pay attention to on every single snap um, and try to find ways that you can uh, have success in either other places or on him in certain areas. Patrick, was that defense that you guys saw on Sunday sort of the, the first? one that was different, I guess, this season? Um, in, a, in, a, in a sense, um, I think it still had the same principles. I mean, people were talking about it being a single, single safety middle defense, but, it, I mean, if you really know the ins and out of that defense, it plays a lot like too high. Um, so, uh, I mean, we've, we've had trouble with that defense in the past, um, and so we, we, we found ways to just kind of be patient. It's the same thing, had to be patient early, and then when they played some man coverage later in the game, we, we hit some big shots. So, I mean, it was – Different because it didn't start off with too high, but uh, in a sense, I mean that's what they were trying to get to, and, and so for us, we just executed better this last game. Do you still feel like what what you guys were able to execute can, can translate when you when you revert back to some of these defenses that you mentioned? Yeah, I mean I think it's a it's a battle. I mean every single week. I mean obviously uh, I'm sure they're they're going to do some different type of too high stuff, but they'll have try to have mix ups too. They're not going to sit back and give us the exact same coverage every single time. I mean they're going to try to find ways to to confuse me and to confuse this offense, and so we have to make in-game adjustments um, and still take what's there. And then whenever the shots do present itself, we have to hit those. We've been asking about the chemistry with the offensive line since training camp. But at least these last couple weeks, it seemed, you seem comfortable there. Have you seen that evolution continue with those guys? And obviously this last week and a half or so has been with Wiley at, at the right side. How has that come along for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, they've gotten better and better each and every week. I mean, you would expect it. They've always had the talent. Um, but you, whenever you're in an offensive line, it takes playing together. It takes going through adversity together. It takes going through great times together. And so you've seen that. They've gotten better and better each and every week. And they have the talent. I mean, every, every single one of those guys. And then when you add in a guy like Wiley, who I've played with a, a while now, he's a guy that's going to battle. He's going to fight to the very end. And you saw that this last week when he got, went up against a – really good defensive end and, and held his own. So, I mean, uh, I have all the trust in the world in those guys up front, and they're going to keep getting better as the season goes. What about specifically Creed, obviously having to be in the middle of that offensive line? Andy just mentioned all the stuff that gets dumped on a young center. Mm -hmm. what, what's different from him right now from week one? Yeah, I mean, I think he just feels more comfortable. I mean, he, he's played good the entire season. Uh, but uh, I think the more you see, that he's seen more and more defenses. He's seen more and more pressures and blitzes, and he understands what we're trying to do as an offense. Uh, that center position is kind of like the quarterback. You get more comfortable the more snaps that you get. Um, and so uh, he, he, now he can kind of let his talent uh, be shown. Um, he can go out there and be who he is because he has a, a comfortability with the offense. How surprising is it to you that, that he is able to grasp all that as a, as a rookie? Yeah, I mean, it, it is. I mean, that, that he's, uh, he started a lot at Oklahoma. Uh, he started a lot, I'm sure, in high school, um, and he came in with the mindset of he wanted to, to, be, to be the best that he could possibly be for this team. Uh, and so when you have guys that work hard every single day um, and take in everything, I mean, there are going to be a certain few mistakes here and there, but if they learn from it, don't make the same mistake twice, um, they can be uh, great players. Patrick, you mentioned Bouchelle this weekend with the, the video, then he tries to get, the Cardinals tried to apparently poach him, and now he's on the 53. What does it mean uh, to him to, to kind of get that? And what did you see that, that led you to believe he deserves that kind of call-up? 
Yeah, I mean, he, he puts in the work every single day. I mean, he, he's a guy that, I mean, he he's has a lot of energy. I mean, that, that role, when you're not playing a lot that first year, you can kind of lose and you can kind of be lazy. And, I mean, he hasn't shown that. He's in every single day with us, me and Chad, uh, getting in and learning as much as possible. I had to tell Cliff to stay away from my guy. Um, <laughs> but so, uh, I mean, he's someone that he, he puts in the work and he, he deserved this opportunity, and I'm, glad, I'm happy for him. Patrick, uh, earlier today, Coach McCarthy said he's going to be having his team work the scramble drill a lot more this week because they're playing you. When you hear that, does that make you say, all right, I'm going to sit in pocket or I'm still going to continue to do what I do? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to continue to do what I, what I do. I, I haven't scrambled as much this year. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's always been a part of our game. Um, but, uh, I mean, they have a great scrambling quarterback, too. So I'm sure they've seen it a lot in, in preseason and, and training camp and all that different type of stuff. So uh, uh, for me, it's just taking what the defense gives me. And then when, if I need a scramble, make a play happen, I'll try to do that. Patrick, uh, I know there's a lot of factors about determining where the ball goes, right, obviously. But um, is there a commonality in the games where Travis needs a lot of targets and I think it's just kind of how the flow of the game, honestly. I mean, we go into each and every game. We have certain plays called for certain guys. Um, but when, until you get out there and see what the defense is presenting you, uh, you, you don't necessarily know who's going to get the football. And so that's what we try to emphasize to all these receivers and all these tight ends and running backs is uh, we go into the game having a game plan, but it, it can change in an instant. You have to be able to make adjustments. You have to be able to, to run routes uh, to get other people open. And I think our guys do that. Um, we know Travis is very boisterous, but... What's it like with him in the middle of the game? How much does he have a voice in the huddle with you? And, and what's it like to watch him sort of have uh, sort of an impression on everybody on the team? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that's done it for a, a while now. I mean, uh, it's gonna it might be a few grays in those beards. I mean, he, he's he's done it. He's done it for a long time. And when you have a guy that's had that much success, and he and he's able to show his emotion, um, and and kind of he wants to fight to the very end. It it, it kind of bleeds through the rest of the team. Um, a guy that I mean, he could come in and just do his job and get out of here, but he's in here all the time. He's he's working his tail off, and so you want guys like that on your team. Last one, Matt. Uh, Patrick, you've had a chance to watch the film now. What do you think of Daryl's touchdown catch on Sunday? Yeah, it probably saved me an interception first off. So, I mean, it's I underthrew it. I tried to throw it in the back corner of the end zone. But, uh, I mean, he jumped up there and made a play. Um, and uh, he, I, like I said after the game, he says he, he can make all these catches. But to see it in person, now I'm about to give him a few more opportunities. <laughs>